Disulfide breaches are covalent linkages between the thiol groups of proximal cysteine residues in a protein. These linkages confer structural stability to the protein. Formation of disulfide bridges in prokaryotes occurs in between thiol groups in adjacent cysteine residues while the protein chain is being translocated across the cell membrane. However, these vectorial bridges are often not part of the native protein conformation. Disulfide isomerases are enzymes that shuffle the disulfide bridges and help the protein to acquire its native conformation. Disulfide isomerases are generally described as V-shaped dimers. They possess three different domains an N terminus domain with a thyroidoxin fold type that is responsible for the reductase activity, a foldase or chaperone domain in the C terminus and interface of the monomers and a flexible hinge domain in between both of them. Disulfide isomerases have four distinct catalytic activities, although we are mostly screening two of them. The reductase activity is the capacity for cleaving disulfide bridges by reduction. We monitor this activity with a fluorescence dye that is conjugated to itself through a disulfide bridge. The dye moieties do not fluoresce due to self-quenching. Upon reduction of the thiol groups, the dye becomes highly fluorescent. The chaperone or foldase activity is involved in the folding of the nature protein into its native conformation. We monitor this activity by an increased fluorescent signal of the nature GFB that acquires its native conformation. The disulfide isomerase activity shuffles not native disulfide bridges into a fully functional native protein. Finally, the oxidative folding acts on the nature proteins with reduced thiols that fold into a native functional protein with the sulfur bridges. We gene mine for relevant thermostable candidates by employing genomic enzymology tools recently developed by the Enzyme Function Initiative. Protein sequences are used to build large networks where each node represents a sequence or a group of sequences, and the edge a representation of the quality of their alignment. Based on mathematical parameters, we can segregate the networks in isofunctional clusters. The TIPS project aims to search, produce, characterize, and engineer potential isomerase enzymes for industrial biotechnology applications. It is funded by the ERANET Industrial Biotechnology Program.